People of hope, our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Would you join with me in prayer? Triune God, as we begin this service that inaugurates our academic year, pour out the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Deliver us from cold hearts and wandering thoughts, that with renewed minds and burning zeal we may worship you in all that we do, in spirit and truth. Amen. Our lesson from scripture this morning comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 20, beginning in verse 24. Hear the word of the Lord. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the mark of the nails in his hand and put my finger in the mark of the nails, in my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. And Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? 
Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, but these were written so that you might believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is my delight and honor to welcome you to this convocation service as it officially opens our 2018-2019 academic year. I'm especially pleased to welcome uh, these first-year students all in these rows in front of me and their families and their friends. Orient orientation weekend uh, has nearly come to an end and you have met your roommates, you have built your lofts, you have survived the picnic in Phelps Hall last night, and tomorrow you join the returning students for the first week of classes. For most of you, this is an occasion of excitement and anticipation, mixed with more than a little anxiety, I suspect. But let us move into this fall semester with confidence and assurance of hope, remembering, remembering that we have this hope as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, spera in Dale. Our speaker today is Dr. Fred L. Johnson III. He is one of the most popular and productive members of the faculty at Hope College, and his interests are, are as varied as his talents. Fred received his bachelor's degree from Bowie State College, his master's and doctorate from Kent State University, and in 2015, he earned a Master of Divinity degree from Western Theological Seminary here in Holland when he was teaching at Hope College. Now, as a professor at Western Seminary, when uh, Fred completed his Divinity degree, it was my privilege to teach Fred church history in two one-on-one -on -one courses. These were stimulating and memorable sessions during which the teacher learned more than the student. In many of these discussions that we had, Fred uh, shared his experiences as a factory supervisor as, and as an officer in the United States Marine Corps, Semper Fi. Fred joined the faculty in, at Hope in 2000. His primary field has been 19th century U.S. history, specifically the Confederacy during the Civil War, the U.S. military, and Africa. A prolific writer with wine-raging interests, Fred has written various scholarly articles and book reviews, a book on Tupac Shakur, believe it or not, and a, and a documentary on the Ku Klux Klan in Michigan. He also participated in the production of a three-part documentary called Inventing America. And he has written, believe it or not, three novels. I didn't know that about Fred. An outstanding public speaker and member of the Toastmasters International, Fred has successfully com competed in the World Series of Public Speaking competition seven times. Now, while Fred excels in many areas, he is above all a remarkable teacher. In 2005, the graduating class of Hope College named him as that year's Outstanding Professor Educator, the Hope Award, which is a great honor for Hope faculty to receive. Moreover, he was chosen by students to deliver the commencement address in 2003 and to do the last lecture in 2010. My friends, let us welcome this year's convocation speaker, Dr. Fred Johnson. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> President Vosco, Provost Short Thompson, Dean Johnson, colleagues, family, friends, and most of all, you students of the incoming class of 2022, welcome to this convocation. As President Vosco said, our gathering marks the formal opening of the 2018-2019 school year, and it's indeed a pleasure 
It's a privilege to have these few minutes to share a few words with you. In the process of preparing these remarks, I realized that I was flattering myself, thinking that I had words of value to say to you. But the truth of the matter is that it is you, class of 2022, who possesses the information that I need to know. And what I really need to know is, do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe in the education you've come to get? Do you believe that this liberal arts education matters to you as a person, a future leader, and as a citizen of this great nation? Do you believe that attending an institution that emphasizes a liberal arts curriculum can change your life for the better? Do you believe that asking why is as important as asking who, what, when, where, and how? Do you believe that this education you aspire to achieve will not only empower you to make money, but give you the tools to make a life? So I want to know. I need to know. Do you believe? This question is appropriate and worthy of urgent consideration. For in the opening decades of the 21st century, there are many, many, many who question the value of higher education, especially in education at an institution like Hope College. The arguments are well known. It's too expensive. It's not relevant to the modern world. It graduates employees instead of entrepreneurs and future employers. Questioning observers wonder, what's the overall value of an education that's committed to producing talented scientists, mathematicians, engineers, and computer wizards, but also takes the time to explore faith, politics, art, history, music, and ethics. And they're not wrong. The doubters and naysayers, they're not wrong to ask those questions. They are not wrong at all. For in a world where centuries of knowledge can be accessed with a keystroke, in a world where technology has reshaped reality faster than we can comprehend and adjust, in a world where social media has redefined the meaning of friend, in a world where it's easier to order from Amazon.com than to drive down to the local store, in a world where drone strikes from continents away have made us rethink the meaning and methods of war, in a world where passwords are far more important than actual names, in a world where YouTube offers anyone a path to stardom, in such a world, in such a world, is there really any need to discuss John Calvin's Institutes of the Christian Religion? Is there really any need to discuss the dialectic of George Wilhelm, Fre he he George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel? Is there really any need to discuss the meaning of Rene Descartes when he said, I think, therefore I am? Is there really any need to assess, to explore what it meant in the context of the 18th century when Thomas Jefferson wrote, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal? Or the, or the prophetic words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who on April 3, 1968, one day before he was assassinated, said, all we say to America is be true to what you said on paper. Hashtag, we're still working this democracy thing out, but we'll, we'll finally get it right one day. Those questioning a Hope College liberal arts education assert that outcomes are more, impro are more important than the processes that produce them. They demand to know how reflecting on the mysteries of the cosmos impacts the great demands of the here and now. One need not look far or hard to find these questioning voices for, indeed, there are many who wonder just exactly what is the point of a curriculum that cannot guarantee a student walking from the classroom to the job site the day after graduation? What's the point? of coming to a place like Hope College that has a vibrant and thriving chapel program. Does faith really matter when you go on the job, into the courthouse, into the operating room, into the sports arena, to your recreation space, or even if you go to war? How does understanding the human condition and those forces that can either uplift or torture the human heart really matter to the bottom line. 
Why pay attention to those thoughts, ideas, movements, and events that have sometimes been invaluable gifts to humanity while others have inspired unspeakable acts of evil? Incoming class of 2022, how you approach those questions will provide answers to not just the value of your Hope College education, but lend insight into the kind of person you are right now and the one you intend to become. Because while it's never good to assume anything, there are sometimes enough available facts to make assumptions that bend toward the accurate. And here's what we know right now, this moment, on this day, August 26, 2018. First, we know you're here. And because you're here, part of you already understands, believes, or at least suspects that the Hope College education you desire will not only equip you to compete in the unforgiving marketplace of the 21st century, but guide you into a deeper understanding of yourself, your faith, and your purpose. It sounds kind of quaint, doesn't it? Sounds old-fashioned to speak of people having a purpose beyond themselves. It even sounds kind of stupid and ridiculous, doesn't it? Talking about work that elevates human beings and guides people into fulfilling the second greatest commandment, love your neighbor as yourself. I'm talking about the assurance in your deepest heart of hearts where you already know that there's more to this journey than a law of the jungle rule that celebrates every woman and man for her or himself. You already sense that you want to do more than have a good time without giving thought and assistance to those daily being stomped by the heavy boot of life. You possess a burn to do, to be, to contribute, and discover the possibilities above and beyond settling for a predictable life of comfort, privilege, and security. Second, because you're here, we already know that you know you must be computer literate and be tech proficient. But we need you to just believe that we'll help you explore the impact of technology upon a humanity that is utterly broken. You know that you'll have to do your best to succeed, but we need you to just believe that we'll help you ponder a path to success that won't require you abandoning those virtues of what it means to be human and care for other human beings. You know You've got a bright future, but we need you to, to just believe that we'll help you understand that the quality of your future depends upon every decision you, you make starting right now. You know that right now, right now, time is on your side. But we need you to just believe that by this coming Thursday, 40 years will already have passed and, a great art, and the great architect of time is measuring your life by how well you are being his hands and feet on earth. Third, because out of all the colleges and all the programs and all the places you could have chosen to be, you chose to be here, we know that you already sense there's something special happening on Hope College's campus. Yes, it's about knowledge. Yes, it's about development. Yes, it's about professions, careers, and making a mark in the world. There's also that part about an institution of the 21st century that says in all we do, we openly identify ourselves with the person, life, divinity, and mission of Jesus the Christ. For like that moment in the book of John, chapter 20, verses 24 through 31, when the apostle Thomas demanded proof of Jesus' being alive before he believed in the freedom, of his salvation by grace. The world is demanding proof that a Hope College education is worth the cost, the time, and the effort that'll set you free to go and change the world in his name. Upon seeing that the Christ had indeed risen from the dead, Thomas said, my Lord and my God. This, of course, made the Christ happy, but he also noted, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Incoming class of 2022, you obviously have not seen, heard, or experienced any of what you're going to encounter the next four years, but you're here. 
And more than ever, we need you to just believe that this Hope College education isn't just a good tool to have in your not a good tool to have in your box of knowledge. It is a treasure that can help you join others in solving some of our most pressing problems on this planet. We need you to just believe that as important as it is to know how to do a thing, at Hope College, we'll learn how to better navigate the question, should you do a thing? We need you to just believe that as important as it is to amass wealth, no man or woman is buying their way out of death. So you also need to master the art of loving your neighbor as yourself. We need you to just believe that the staff, administration, and faculty of Hope College are acutely aware of what you're investing in time and money to come here as the next stage of pursuing your dreams. So we applaud you for the faith you've already shown and the promise of what we say we'll do in preparing you for a world that's already looking radically different four years from now than it does today. So more than ever, we ask you to just believe and join us in taking those next steps that'll turn you into dynamic professionals, movers, and shakers whose belief will give you, will give life as you change lives in the name of Jesus the Christ. Welcome. Well, good afternoon. I am Katie Short Thompson, and I am your provost or chief academic officer. And let me add my voice to the many voices who have welcomed you here today and over the weekend. It is an understatement to say how glad we are that you are all here. Well, now you're ours. You're ours. We're so glad that you're here, and uh, we are also yours. And um, I simply want to welcome you because you are now in your alma mater. In case you don't know, the words alma mater are a literal translation from Latin to mean nourishing mother. And so now, over the next four years, we will nourish you well, and we hope that you love your mother. <laughs> And so I, we want to teach you the song, your alma mater song. And so I'd ask everyone here to stand and allow the choir to first teach you this song. If you already know it, sing loud and proud, but they will sing it through one time. And then the second time, you need to own it. This is your alma mater. Join us, please.
Thank you, Hope's Chapel Choir. As we step into this new academic year, would you please join with me in prayer? Triune God of grace, we pray for your blessing on all gathered in this place as we begin a new season of learning and living together. Here may the faithful find vision and the careless be awkward, awakened. Here may the doubting find faith and the anxious experience peace. Here may the tempted find help and the sorrowful comfort. Here may each grow deeper and taller in the soil of hope that in this soil each might find their identity in you, their belonging in your body, and their purpose for their life's trajectory. Here may each professor be a source of wisdom and may each student be a receptive well of inspiration. God in your spirit holy, bless each here as each has need as we begin that each might bring their gifts to your service, leaning into a life of meaning. Bless each so that all their powers for life, dignity, grace, and order of intellectual pleasures and physical health might find the appropriate industry in the commonwealth of your saints. As we begin this year, guide us, triune God, into your love divine so our loves may excel. Bless us with the knowledge of our end in you, that in knowing our end, it might give our beginning a steady and sustaining direction. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Would you please join, stand, as we sing our closing hymn, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling.
people of hope, the class of 2022, as we step into this year, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon each of you that you might experience the overwhelming wonder of his love and grace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and all of hope said, Amen. We are adjourned. Go in peace.